Okay, so here we're going to look at this differential equation. y times the natural log of x plus y plus x times the natural log of x times the derivative of y with respect to x equals zero. Okay, good. So maybe the way it's written in this form gives a hint that it might be an exact differential equation. So let's recall what an exact differential equation is. So if we set this equal to a function a, this equal to a function b, then this is exact if the partial of a with respect to y equals the partial of b with respect to x. So let's go ahead and check if it is exact. So we'll take the partial of a with respect to y. So that'll give us the natural log of x plus 1. Good. Now let's take the partial of b with respect to x. So here we need to use the product rule. So we'll get the natural log of x plus x over x because the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x and these are obviously the same. So yes, this is exact. Good. So now let's outline our solution strategy and then we'll go ahead and find a solution. So now the next thing we want to do is we want some function psi that has this property. So the partial of psi with respect to x should be this function a, which is y times natural log of x plus y. And then the partial of psi with respect to y should be this function b, which is x natural log of x. Okay. So if we find such, such a fu function psi, then psi equals some constant is an implicit solution of this differential equation. Okay, good. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll work on finding this function psi. Okay, so previously we determined that this was indeed an exact differential equation and we laid out a blueprint for finding the solution to this differential equation. So let's just recall what we need. We need some function psi so that d psi dx equals y natural log of x plus y and the partial psi with respect to y equals x natural log of x. Okay, so let's see what strategy we have. So we could take the antiderivative of this with respect to x, but if I look at this, the antiderivative of natural log is a bit tricky. It's not too hard, but it's a bit tricky. You have to use integration by parts. Or we could take the antiderivative of this with respect to y, but x natural log of x is just a constant, so this antiderivative is pretty easy. So let's do that. So let's take the antiderivative here, with respect to y, and let's see what we get. So that means that psi will be equal to x times y times the natural log of x plus g of x, where that's just some function of x. So recall, if we take the partial of this with respect to y, the partial with respect to y sees a pure function of x as a constant, so it would disappear. Okay, so the next thing that we'll do is we'll go over in this direction and we'll take the partial of this with respect to x and we'll compare it with what we know that the partial should be with respect to x. So if we take the partial with respect to x, we get d psi dx equals, so now we need to use the product rule on this bit. So we'll get y times the natural log of x plus y times x times the derivative of the natural log of x. So let's recall the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. So we'll have x over x, which is 1, so this will be plus y. Okay, good. And then finally, plus the derivative of g with respect to x, which I'll just call g prime of x. Okay, good. Now we see that these two need to be equal. So we can cancel out the like terms on each side of the equation, and that tells us 
that the derivative of this function g should be zero, which means this function g should indeed be a constant. Okay, so we're almost done. So that tells us that our implicit solution to this differential equation is given by psi equals some arbitrary constant. So that will be x times y times the natural log of x plus c0 equals c. But since c0 and c are arbitrary constants, we can move c0 to the right-hand side of the equation and then absorb them together. And that'll give us xy natural log of x equals some constant c. And that is our final solution.